Nintendo Directs, making people lose their minds out of excitement while simultaneously disappointing everyone since 2011. And our first dose of that Nintendo beauty for 2022 was no different. There are things here that people are going to absolutely love, but the lack of any Bayonetta 3 news, the lack of any Hollow Knight Silk Song updates, and most importantly, the lack of any Breath of the Wilds 2 news is upsetting, to say the least. But we're not here to dwell on what could have been. We're here to hype you up and get you excited for what is quite possibly the best year for the Nintendo Switch yet. There are so many amazing games coming out and we learned a lot about a lot of them today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for weekly Nintendo content and without any more rambling, let's get into the February Nintendo Direct. This isn't exactly the Fire Emblem game I was hoping for, hoping for something a little bit new, but I'm pretty excited to see where the Warriors franchise is going now. I do like how the Warriors franchise, instead of just putting a new skin on top of the same Warriors game, they're introducing some new content, so this is going to be an original story. Like new canon story elements. Reminds me a little bit of Age of Calamity, dare I say. Pretty excited for that. That drops on June 24th this year. We got some new information on Advance Wars, so now it's got some voice acting, a sandbox mode, and online multiplayer. Seems like it has a huge update since the Game Boy Advance versions of the game. This was originally meant to release in December of last year, and is now coming out on April the 8th, 2022. Next, we got a look at a game called No Man's Sky, which looks kind of like a Star Wars life sim. Gonna be honest, I have no idea about anything about this game, but Star Wars simulations, sounds pretty good to me. Next up, we had our first look at the new Mario Strikers game. Mario Strikers something something, can't remember the subheading, it'll be on your screen now, I am sure of it. So many people have been asking for a sequel to the Mario Strikers game, and we finally have it. So now the Switch has Mario Tennis, Mario Golf, Mario Football, or soccer, depending on what country you're from. We're not huge on sports games, but it looks pretty cool. You can use items and special moves, and that one's coming out on June 10th. We have a friend who has a big passion for soccer, so we're probably just going to let him pick that up and play it on his Switch. Following on from that, we have yet another update on Splatoon 3. Unfortunately, there is still no solid release date, but it will be coming out in summer of this year sometime. We did get a look at the new co-op mode Salmon Run though, so we might be playing it on Twitch since we don't need two copies of the game now. Hopefully we don't. Next up, we had a look at Front Mission, the first remake. I don't have anything else to say. I have never played these before, another tactical RPG coming our way. This year is oversaturated with tactical RPGs, but it looks fun. Next up, we got a look at Disney Mario Kart. <laughs> well, it's actually called Disney Speedstorm, but it's essentially a Mario Kart. This one actually reminds me a little bit of Jack X Combat Racing. Did you ever play that one on PlayStation 2? No. Anyone? It just, I feel like there's more combat <laughs> involved, if you will. It did say it's a combat style kart racer. So that one releases sometime this year for free. Mm, it makes me a little suspicious about what the microtransactions will be like. I would almost rather just pay $60 and be able to play the full version of the game. You do get to play some pretty cool characters though, like Jack Sparrow, Mulan, Sully. If you ever wanted to drive a car as a monster from Monsters Inc, this year will be your chance to. We got a peek at a new Star Wars remake, The Force Unleashed, that'll be releasing April 20th. Yeah, I really have nothing to say about that. It's a remake <laughs> of an old game and you play as Darth Vader's apprentice. It looks cool. It does look cool. More excited for Lego Star Wars though, let's be honest. Then we got another couple of remakes. The Ezio Collection is coming to the Nintendo Switch. So Assassin's Creed 2, 3 and 4 essentially are all getting ported to the Switch with updated controls as well. I really like that. Touchscreen. Pretty interesting. HD rumble and an optimized screen. Something along Optimized those display. There you go. <laughs> Very excited for those to launch in actually just a few days. February 17th, they're coming out. Oh my God, there's so many games to play and such a little time to play them. So we've heard Chrono Trigger being mentioned quite a number of times recently. And while Chrono Trigger is not coming to the Switch, 
Chrono Cross is coming to the Switch. This is a remake of a PlayStation 1 game that tells the beginning of the story in the Chrono Saga. It makes me curious to see if they're planning a new Chrono Cross or Chrono Trigger game as they're bringing the origin story, so that would make sense. Yeah, bringing the origin story over in preparation for a new Chrono game. <laughs> Look out for that, I'm sure the rumours are going to be running rife. Then we got some new information about the new Kirby game, Forgotten Lands, which is coming out on March 25th. But now it looks like Kirby can absorb the powers of inanimate objects as well as monsters. So was that his mouth or his butt that that car was sticking out of in the trailer? <laughs> I'm not sure. You guys tell us. Let us know in the comments below. He looks a little strange. Surely that hurts. <laughs> it looks like it, it hurts. Looks He's totally stretched. Who wants a cone up their mouth? <laughs> this is probably my most anticipated game for this year after Legends Arceus has already released. I am a 3D platforming nerd <laughs> and I can't wait for this to happen. Kirby Forgotten Lands looks amazing and it's coming out March 25th. There's a new baseball game coming out. <laughs> It's called The Show 22. The announcer sounded like he'd smoked a pack of durries or two in his life. Baseball is not really a game we play a lot of here in Australia or in New Zealand. So sorry if we're offending anyone, but he does sound like he smoked too many cigarettes. That's coming out sometime this year. It's baseball. It'll be fun with motion controls. Kingdom Hearts cloud versions are coming out tomorrow. Not for us though. I feel like you all might know our thoughts on it by now. If not, we made a whole video about it, so check that out. Yep, go check out our cloud versions video and why Australia doesn't get them. Thanks, cloud. Appreciate you. Not. <laughs> Sucks. <laughs> Actually, the worst. I'm going to go play my PlayStation now. Klonoa is coming to Switch. These games were originally released on the PlayStation in like the early 2000s, late 90s. They had a remake on the Wii, and now they're coming to Switch. The Switch is a lucrative console, apparently, and everything seems to be coming over. Again, I'm a massive 3D platformer. This is like 2.5D platforming, but I love all platformers. They're all good. I'm definitely going to be picking this one up when it comes out later this year. The Portal Companion Collection is coming out on the Switch later this year. Did you ever play any of the Portal games? I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. I used to play them back in the day, so I'm pretty excited oh, about these remakes. Really? I was not expecting that. Fair enough. It's pretty fun. I believe you. Cool. All right, there you go. We're getting it then. News to me. I am super happy that this whole HD, 2D kind of visual art style is really coming to the forefront this year. We have the Dragon Quest 3 remake, which is coming out. Octopath Traveler was obviously a huge game for the Switch. And now we have Live Alive. Live Alive. Live Alive. Yeah, oops. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, anything in this art style instantly grabs my attention. And the fact that it's, well, an RPG, like they usually are, just, mm. It looks super cool. You can play as several different characters from several different timelines, like the past, the near future, distant future, and the present. Robots, mind readers, samurais, martial arts guys. Honestly, what is there not to love here? It sounds epic. It does. And it's coming out on July 22nd. Looking forward to that one. Ah, so then it really stepped up a notch here, this direct, didn't it? <laughs> What? Why was that funny? Wii Sports. <laughs> Wii Sports is funny. Sorry. <laughs> Why is Wii Sports funny? I don't know. There's just something so wholesome about Wii Sports. It was huge when it came out on the Wii. So it was only a matter of time before the Nintendo Switch got its own one. They're calling it Nintendo Switch Sports. Aren't they? <laughs> Real creative with their names there, guys. But it's going to be huge for the platform. It's not necessarily something that I'm going to love. I loved Wii Sports when it came out. I love that I could go bowling whenever I want, but now I have a car and a license and I can just go bowling whenever I want. Probably not going to spend 80 Australian getting this one. 
I'd rather just pay 10 bucks and go to the local bowling alley, not gonna lie. We do all have some fond memories of Wii Sports though, don't we? We have a lot of nostalgia of Wii Sports. So hopefully this Nintendo Sports, Nintendo Switch Sports, what, Wii Sports, we're calling it Wii Sports. <laughs> Hopefully this new Wii Sports is going to create a lot of those nostalgic feelings for a lot of other people. There's going to be many more Smash TVs and oh, broken noses. Can't wait for all the fail compilations <laughs> of the new Wii Sports game. That was like the pinnacle of fail compilations. This is undoubtedly a huge release for Nintendo and I'm sure they're putting a lot of money into it. They dedicated a lot of this direct to it. It was the only game that was actually played during the Direct, which was pretty funny. Did you notice how they were like, have you got your wrist strap on? I did <laughs> notice. Make sure you wear your wrist strap when you're playing this one, kids. Your mum might just murder you after you break her TV. Possibly. But they do have some new games in this one. They've got volleyball, badminton, and soccer. Again, this is a very sports-themed Direct, from my opinion. I think this is the last game. Well, there's three sports games. But sports is definitely a theme of this direct. Are they trying to tell us something? Yeah, we need to exercise we've more. All been we? in, we've all been in lockdown too long. They're like, let's make some sports games, get them moving about. Ooh, a Nintendo. Telling kids they're fat Slight. since 19... <laughs> <laughs> You're not fat, it's okay. And if you are, it's fine. I'm not here to judge you. You're beautiful just the way you are. So there's going to be an online play test for that between February 18th and 20th. So on that Saturday, we will definitely be checking this one out on Twitch, giving it a little bit of a test run. And they have invited all of you guys to give it a test run as well. So if you own a Switch and you're interested in Wii Sports, don't forget to check that out between those dates. And I'm sure we'll get a release date later on. A new Taiko no Tatsujin game's coming out. Sorry if I butchered the name. This game is huge in arcades in Japan. Yeah, it was so fun. Literally walking past any arcade, there's just people beating absolute crap out of these drums. And they're so good at it. Mm-hmm. I feel like this game would be better on Switch if you did have one of those drums. Mm -hmm. I know it's available to buy, but I feel like it's quite expensive. You'd need the drum, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it really makes the experience what it's meant to be if you had the drum. Mm -hmm. This one is coming out sometime this year. If you're into rhythm games, definitely recommend giving this one a shot. Speaking of HD 2D as we were before, we also got another look at Triangle Strategy. So there's a demo that's going to come out and you can play up to Chapter 3. So it's pretty much going to be like the Octopath demo, if anybody ever played that. Long extended demo, and then your progress can then be transferred over to the full version when that eventually does release in March. I did say Kirby's my most anticipated release of this year so far, but oh my god, am I looking forward to Triangle Strategy. Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah. Mm. <laughs> Triangle Strategy looks so good. As I mentioned, I'm a huge fan of that whole visual art style. I loved Octopath. I love Square Enix. And I love tactical RPGs. I think I'm probably going to love Triangle Strategy. Out of the huge list of tactical RPGs coming out this year, I think I'm most excited for Triangle yes. Strategy. The delicious last cause. The delicious last cause. Come on, you're the better singer than me. <laughs> Why do I always have to sing in these videos? <laughs> Why is it always me? You just pull it off better. <laughs> Not talking until you sing. It's coming out on the 30th of June. <laughs> I feel like the ladies do it better. It's a delicious last course. Oh, the delicious last course. The delicious last course. <laughs> There we go. As if Dread wasn't already hard enough, they had to go and add a one-hit kill mode. When we were watching this direct, Laura's just like, what? <laughs> Absolute dismay. I struggle with it enough. Why do they need to make it harder? But they're also adding a rookie mode for rookies like myself, but I will not be using it. She's a stubborn fool, Laura is. I feel like this is a really good thing for the Dread community. There is no doubt that Dread is a very difficult game. So by adding the rookie mode and making it more accessible for more people, great. I think that's absolutely fantastic. And it makes it even more of a must buy on the Nintendo Switch. But people love the challenge. Dread, 
And Metroid games in general are extremely fun to watch people do speedruns of, and there is going to be some absolute freaks out there just smashing that one hit kill mode, and it's going to be so enjoyable to watch them do. There's also a boss rush mode that's coming out in April. Are any of these things going to make me personally go back to Metroid Dread? I have already finished it. Probably not. But if you haven't checked it out because you have heard that it's too difficult, then I think you should. There is a free demo and both of these editions are coming to that free demo soon. Remember when your free demo used to come on the little CD in the Kellogg's Corn Flakes packet? Them were the days. I had this one that was like a T-Rex simulator. You couldn't like walk around the earth or anything. It was just literally a T-Rex that would just spin around and go in a black background. Does anybody remember that? Let us know in the comments below if you ever played T-Rex Simulator from Cornflakes. <laughs> so people have been complaining recently that ever since Nintendo released the 64 and Sega Genesis onto the online servers, they've kind of neglected the NES and SNES aspects of the service. It's been over six months since a new game has released for those. Not anymore though. We've got Earthbound and Earthbound Beginnings coming to the platform. We are so excited about this. Definitely makes it more worthwhile. And they're coming out later today. Later today, are they? Later there today. There you go. By the time this video is up, you can play Mother and Mother 2 on your Nintendo Switch. Is this also like Chrono? Is this kind of a tease of what is to come? Are they releasing beginnings, the origin story, in order to hype people up for a new game or potentially the release of Mother 3? I hope so. I truly hope so myself. These games are extremely hard to find, even if you still do own a working NES, a working SNES, or a Hypercon Retron. Making games accessible for a majority of people is never a bad thing, and we are all for it. Then we had a classic sizzle reel. It wouldn't be a Nintendo Direct without a sizzle reel, would it? <laughs> I'm really excited for the new Demon Slayer game and Two Point Campus. I love Two Point Hospital. You can find it in our cozy games video. You can. It is one of the best cozy games on the Switch. It's truly addictive. Then possibly the juiciest announcement of the whole Direct. We're getting a brand new... Mu Wait, no, we're not. No, we're not. <laughs> we're not getting a brand new Mario Kart at all. No, we're getting 48 remastered race courses. I want Mario Kart 9. 48 new courses, it's just such a substantial update that it has dawned on me during that direct that we're not gonna get Mario Kart 9 on the Switch. So that's a little bit disappointing, but I am excited for all the new races. It is gonna have a lot of content by the time the Switch's lifespan is over. Until the end of 2023, I believe they're bringing this out in a similar style to the fighters in Super Smash Brothers, how they did that DLC package. Mm -hmm. No five at a time, different packs. Don't get us wrong, there are some awesome racetracks coming out. Choco Mountain, great track. Super excited to see a remaster of that. But I can't help but feel some of these were meant for a new Mario Kart and they just got added as DLC because, I mean, the game's doing so well. It is the highest selling game on Switch and they don't need to bring out a new one. So the first pack is coming out at 25 US dollars. Unless. Unless. <laughs> you already own the latest update to the Nintendo Switch Online package. That was our theory originally when they released the Animal Crossing DLC as part of that package. We thought, is it gonna be that they're gonna put DLC for a lot of other games as part of that package as well? Because that would definitely make it more worth it. And they have done that with the Mario Kart DLC as well. So I think that the Animal Crossing DLC was like 30 US dollars and this is like 25 US dollars. So it's slowly getting more and more worth it. And then the big finale. We all know that Nintendo loves to end their directs with that big game. Last time we got Bayonetta 3 reveal. And this time we had a game that has been rumored for quite a while now. The rumors were running rife. That is Xenoblade Chronicles number three. <laughs> it looks really good. Does it? Yeah, I like it. The graphics. It kind of looks like it was a remaster of a past game. I remember when we were waiting for it to actually announce that it was Xenoblade Chronicles 3, we were like, is that a remaster? Yeah, there, there's something about those graphics in there that 
I don't know, it doesn't look as good as the Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition that was released on the Switch. Oh shit, like two years ago now or something. Oh god, I'm old. Get on. <laughs> the Switch is getting on. Switch has been around for five years now. Five years and still no Mario Kart 9. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 came out in the first year of the Switch. Breath of the Wild came out in the first year of the Switch. Splatoon 2. Mm. The cycle has finally come around and we're getting sequels to all of them. And we are so excited. Xenoblade Chronicles isn't for anyone. We know the second game was quite divisive. The first game is absolutely fantastic. So we're hoping that number three is also fantastic and is a little bit less divisive. They're great JRPGs. They do something a little different with their combat. So do recommend checking out Xenoblade if you haven't already. It is definitely a big Switch title. It's a little bit unfortunate that we got a release date for this one and not things like Bayonetta. Breath of the Wilds 2. That's, that's what I meant, Breath of the Wilds 2. Sorry. There was actually quite a few rumors that Breath of the Wilds 2 was going to be a September release. When is that going to be released now? Is it even going to be 2022? It's going to be Nintendo's holiday release of 2022, I think. <sighs> I hope so. Mm -hmm. This Direct was focused around games coming out in the first half of 2022. So hopefully, well, definitely now, Breath of the Wild 2 is going to be coming out in the second half. As we said in the intro, 2022 looks like it is going to be the best year ever for Switch releases. And it might even give any other year in Nintendo's history a run for its money. Ooh, big call. Let us know in the comments what game you're most looking forward to. Or if you're disappointed about anything. I feel like Laura made it quite obvious she's a little bit upset about the lack of Breath of the Wild 2 news. You could say that. We're sure those people out there that absolutely love this presentation and got everything they could have ever wanted from it. And on the other hand, we're sure there's people that absolutely hated it and wish it had never happened in the first place. So let us know what you think and let's continue the discussion below. Watching these directs just makes us all the more excited to keep making content for you guys. So make sure that you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our videos. We'll no doubt be covering a lot of these games on our channel as well as playing a bunch of them on Twitch at twitch.tv slash some kind of gaming. Thank you all ever so much for watching our videos and we'll see you next time. Bye.